All right, guys, so today I'm going to be looking at the KNF Concept SA254 T1 camera tripod. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you watching this video. Got some good news this morning. My channel has now gone over the 1,000 subscribers mark, so thank you to everyone that subscribed. I really do appreciate it. So onwards and upwards. If you do like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below the video. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe so that I can let you know when new content is released. So today I'm going to be doing a review of this here camera tripod from KNF Concept. Now if I do get the name wrong a couple of times, you'll have to forgive me, it is a bit of a mouthful. It's the SA254T1. It's probably the only time I'm going to say it because I'll probably get it wrong otherwise. So the good people at KNF Concept have sent me this tripod to review and that's what I'm going to do today. So as you can see, a bit of a change of scenery. Now a lot of my videos of late have been indoors, mainly because of this annoying virus that's going on but got to keep safe, so I've got to do our thing. But I've managed to get out in the garden today. Needed a bit of space for reasons that will become apparent later on in the video. Now the tripod's aimed primarily at the photography market, but there's no reason why you can't use it for video, especially for static shots. It might not be stable enough for some of the smoother panning shots, but we'll take a look and we'll see how we get on. So first things first, comes in this nice little bag. It's nice, it's quite padded, so it's quite a nice little bag for protection there. Now the tripod itself weighs about two kilos. It's aluminium, so it's not lightweight, but it's not particularly heavy. And I don't think there'd be any issues in really carrying it in a rucksack. It's not stupidly heavy. And it folds up nice and portable. Payload wise, you can carry up to 10 kilos. So that's plenty. I mean, when you think the GH5 I'm using now is about 750 grams and so not even a kilogram. And the big Sony 70 to 200 mil lenses less than a kilogram as well so the other camera with a big telescopic lens on it still coming about two kilograms maybe three gh5 is quite a small camera but even with one of the bigger cameras 10 kilograms it's a lot of weight so i don't think we have to particularly worry about the payload on this thing it's pretty good so let's just extend the legs out and i'll show you the sort of height you're going to get with this thing Now you can see why I wanted a bit of space today. This comes in at a whopping 172 centimetres with just the legs extended. Got four leg extensions. So nice and sturdy, nice and stable. So not only have we got the 172 centimetres with the legs, we've also got the middle column. Mental, look at that. In terms of height, no issues at all. And if you wait around till later, I'll show you something really special. Okay, so let's put that down for now. Now, if we compare that to the Manfrotto tripod that I usually use for weddings, which is a great tripod. I use this all the time. Let's just check out the height on this one. And you'll be able to see the difference in height. So with the legs extended on this one, you can see the difference in height. Get a lot more height with this KNF concept tripod. Like I say, it's quite sturdy as well. I'd say this one's a bit more sturdy, but it's very close. It's still a sturdy tripod. And they're the sort of height differences. So what's really cool about this tripod is it's got an angled arm in the center column. So so this centre column has one column inside the other. I'll show you what I mean. So, if we undo this knob here, you'll see that that flips out. And there is actually a line on this that tells you where you shouldn't go past. So it means that you can do great top-down shots from a really good height. Now, if we look at the Manfrotto tripod, it's got a similar, 
centre column, but it's only got a single centre column. And because you're using the actual centre column to angle on the Manfrotto tripod, then you lose that height in the middle. So you can do top down shots great on this, so I do them all the time. But obviously from a much lower height. Now with this one, you could be standing at a desk doing an unboxing or something like that. Sorry about the sea girls, I live near the sea. So you could be doing an unboxing on a desk and you can have this above you looking down at the unboxing. Um, whereas with this one, Obviously you've got much less height to play with. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? This is about 196 centimetres off the ground. So for top down shots from a good height, I have never really seen a tripod like this, to be honest. But I did tell you earlier on, I was gonna show you something a little bit special. Now, you don't have to angle it. You can have it pointing up. Now that really is mental. And it's quite secure too. That's 244 centimetres off the floor, that's eight foot. So you can get really good height in your photography with a ladder, eight foot off the ground. And like I say, it's sturdy. Even this bit, this bar is sturdy. It's all metallic lobs. Both parts of the angle arm are aluminium. So, I mean, that's pretty amazing. That's pretty special, I think, eight foot. Like I said, if we compare it to the Manfrotto again, this is the maximum height we can get on the Manfrotto. You know, this is a decent height as well. I got this tripod partly because of the height. You know, this is head height. That's pretty good in a tripod. But this is just insane. I mean, this is a similar height, just the legs to this fully extended. So if you want a tripod with height, you can't really get much better than that, can you? So what if you want to get low shots? Well, it's a little bit of a faff, but it's not really. So if we put our legs all the way down. So if you wanted to get low shots, all you have to do, so you unscrew this little hook at the bottom. You'd undo this middle section, pull the bar out, and then you'd flip the bar over and then do this section up again. Do up the middle section. And then we just fasten the camera underneath and you can get some nice low shots. So yeah, it's a little bit of a faff that you have to flip it round, but it's not the end of the world. And even with the Manfrotto one, it's a bit of a faff. So it's not really an issue, but just so you know, that's what you have to do. And if you wanted to, you could still use the angle arm. Okay, so if you wanted the camera the right way up, you could just mount it on the angle arm as such. So you don't have to have it upside down, you can have it the right way up. Obviously you're going to want to compensate for the weight of the camera, so make sure the arm's back where it needs to be. And then you can just mount it the right way up, nice and low. Okay, so there are your options for low photography or videography. And then to put it back up the other way, you just do the same thing again. Undo this. So it's really not that hard to do if you wanted to get some nice low shots. So yeah, I've, I've got this hook on the bottom if you want to put some sandbags on it, make it a little bit more secure. So that's nice. Also got the option to extend these legs. Right out. So if you want to get some fairly low to the ground photography done and you want your legs nice and stable, then these legs do flip all the way out like so, you're probably thinking, it's a decent tripod, but sometimes I want a monopod. Well, my friends.
got a monopod. And that's that. We take off the ball head from the tripod, pop that on your now monopod. Got a monopod. That's nuts, isn't it? Stupidly high tripod, really nicely made, and now I've got a monopod. So what if you want some more height on your monopod? What you got to do, take the bottom off this bar, take the bar out, take the ball head back off, put the ball head back on the central arm, attach the central arm to your now monopod. Now you've got a stupidly high monopod. And because this bar's a bit more stable than this monopod bar, you can always just use this bar as your main monopod arm. Just makes it much more stable. And that's, you know, that's quite a nice monopod now. I mean, without this bar, it's a little bit flimsy. It's still more than usable. But with this bar, it makes it a really sturdy sort of monopod. But if you wanted to, yeah, you just... Look at that. Just, it's just all mental, isn't it? So say you were out and about doing a bit of traveling, didn't really want to travel with the monopod and the tripod, don't have to. I've now got a monopod and a tripod, all in one. This is a genuinely honest review. I've been blown away by this thing. The build quality is great, aluminium, so it's not super light, but that doesn't really bother me too much. All the knobs are really nice metallic. There's not really much plastic on it. There's a few of the little knobs of plastic. Plate for the camera is just a nice little screw on plate. Just everything just feels really well made and really robust. You've got the crazy eight foot extendable height. Height wise, I don't think you're gonna really get much better than this in a decent tripod. I think it looks smart. I love the design. How much do you think they look for all of this? Couple of hundred? So on a normal day, this tripod's going to set you back $132.99. $132.99 for all of this. The height, the monopod, just a really well-made little tripod, $132.99. I saw this on KNF Concepts website the other day for $102.99. That's just mental, $100 for everything I've just shown you. If you're looking for a tripod, even if it's your first tripod, or you're a professional videographer or photographer, then I'd definitely check this out, for sure. 100% recommend it. The build quality is great. The height's amazing. I just love it. But not only that, if you use the code on the screen now, I'll link it in the description below, you get another 5% off. So my conclusion on the KNF Concept SA254 T1. That is right, I had to check. I think it's quite obvious that I like this tripod. No one's paying me to say this, but I genuinely would recommend this tripod. Like I say, my usual tripod is the Manfrotto one. I, I think you could put a fluid head on there, it'd still probably be stable enough. Possibly not if you want maximum stability. You need something a little bit more robust for videography, but for photography, definitely. And like I say, it's not stupidly light, but it's not heavy either. Get that in a rucksack where you've got the nice little carry bag that it comes with. So, not much more I can say about it. Highly recommend it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the mental height on this thing. It's been nice being outside today. Been cooped up for a little while, so it's nice to get back outside and do some stuff. I will be doing more stuff outside when things get back to normal. But at the moment, can't really go out and fly drones and stuff, so it's nice getting outside and doing stuff. Apologies about the seagulls, but they live near the sea. I hope you found this nice sort of waterfall nice and peaceful. Thanks for getting me to a thousand subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Appreciate every one of you that's subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, then please do consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. Releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment. Audio and visual gear tech reviews editing tutorials, drone tutorials, Premiere Pro tutorials, got some nice little playlists set up for you. So enjoy this channel. Anyway, that's it for this one. Catch you in the next one.